Eliminating the possibility of lead in your drinking water. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here on a Tuesday. That's what Tyler Water Utility says it's been doing for over a year to ensure it knows the type of lines that supply your home with water. In fact, there's a map now up and running. And tonight, as KLTV 7's Lauren T reports, the research is done. The next step will be replacement. It's been a huge project and I'm really proud of them for getting all of this done within the time frame that we had. For about 18 months, Tyler Water Utilities crews surveyed about 40,000 water service lines throughout the city. This past week, the results of that survey were submitted to the TCEQ. The survey is part of a national initiative from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to ultimately eliminate lead pipes and minimize the risk of lead in drinking water. Of the pipes in the survey, 142 were identified as lead. Tyler's Director of Utilities, Kate Dietz, says there is no lead in the city's drinking water. As a drinking water system, a public water supplier, we have many safeguards in place already that if you do have a lead service line, um, we're taking care of the chemistry at the plant to ensure that it is non-reactive with any lead, so leaching is not occurring. Still, she says the best way to mitigate the risk altogether is to replace lead pipes and galvanize steel pipes downstream of lead pipes. The city is now developing plans to replace the lead service lines. According to the EPA's revised lead and copper rule, the pipes must be replaced by 2037. In Tyler, more than 3,800 galvanized steel lines were identified. The city says an additional 4,300 lines were not found and will require further investigation. All customers with lead, galvanized steel, or unknown lines will get a letter from the city by Friday, November 15th with the results of the survey. If we've identified lead or if we've identified galvanized um, and there's, I guess, a potential for lead, there's flushing you can do, different types of filters if you are concerned about lead. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. See your service lines in the city's newly launched interactive map that I mentioned. Scan the QR code on your screen or visit KLTV.com and click on 